everybody welcome into my channel Colleen C to serendipity welcome back to my serendipity subbies and welcome into my new viewers if you're new here would you think about giving me a like and comment down below and think about subscribing to my channel I bring these history videos to you every day okay everyone today is December 22nd 2022 and I would like to bring you this day in history on December 22, 1956, a baby gorilla named Colo entered the world at the Columbus Zoo in Ohio, becoming the first ever gorilla born in captivity. Weighing approximately four pounds, Colo, a western lowland gorilla whose name was a combination of Columbus and Ohio, was a daughter of Millie and Mac, two gorillas captured in French Cameroon, Africa, who were bought to the Columbus Zoo in 1951. Before Colo's birth, gorillas found at zoos were caught in wild, often a brutal, often by brutal means, in order to capture a gorilla when it was young and therefore still small enough to handle. Hunters frequently had to kill the gorilla's parents and other family members. Gorillas are peaceful, intelligent animals native to Africa who live in small groups led by one adult male who is known as a silverback. There are three subspecies of gorillas, western lowland, eastern lowland, and mountain. The subspecies are similar and the majority of the gorillas in captivity are western lowland. Gorillas are vegetarian who only natural enemy is the humans who hunt them. On average, a gorilla lives to 35 years in the wild and 50 years in captivity. At the time of Colo, at the time Colo was born, captive gorillas often never learn parenting skills from their own parents in the wild. So the Columbus Zoo built her a nursery and she was reared by zookeepers. In the years since Colo's arrival, zookeepers have developed habitats with a simulated that simulated a gorilla's natural environment and many captive-born gorillas are now raised by their mothers. In situations where it doesn't work, zoos have created surrogacy programs in which the infants are briefly cared for by humans and then handled, handed over to other gorillas to raise. Colo was generated Colo, who gener generated enormous public interest, went on to become a mother, grandmother, and in 1996, a great-grandmother to Timu, the first surviving infant gorilla conceived by artificial insemination. Timu gave birth to her first baby in 2003. Today, there are approximately 70 750 gorillas in captivity around the world and an estimated 100,000 lowland gorillas and far fewer mountain gorillas remain in remaining in the wild. Most zoos are active in captive breeding programs and have agreed not to buy gorillas born in the wild. Colo died in 19, in 2017. I hope you've all enjoyed today's, this day in history. And um, I want you to stay safe and stay blessed. <clears throat> and remember to smile because I love you. But more importantly, God loves you. And remember, I go live every Saturday night. This Saturday night, December 24th that's Christmas Eve I will still go live but I'm going live at 6 p.m. Central 7 p.m. Eastern uh, might have a special guest so I need a little extra time for preparation for that special guest 
So um, be blessed, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.